In this video we're gonna fix a Samsung S2 phone that died out of nothing. First of all you will have to remove the back cover and remove all the screws you see with a Phillips screwdriver. You will only need one screwdriver, a small one. After that flip the kind of plastic uh, housing from uh, the back so you can get into the phone. Of course you need to remove the battery when doing that. Okay, so let's start from there. YouTube, yesterday I got a Samsung S2 from a neighbor. He asked uh, really cheap for it and I was like, yo, maybe we can fix it. I also needed uh, for my own <clears throat> Samsung S2, I needed a better cover for the lens. You see, mine, this one here, if you look good, you can see it scratched. And yesterday... It got a brand new one from the phone that I got but I got the phone so cheap because it is not going on it's not going on so in fact this phone is is kind of dead um, how did it die well he put the phone for two weeks away and then he wanted to turn it on again and then it would not turn on so how to fix well you know, um, this fix is kind of controversial and I'm not responsible for you breaking or, f or you know, killing your device. But you can see this way, your, f your device is already not working anymore and tja, you could take a chance or, you know, lose it. It's win or lose, okay? If you look here at uh, this phone, here, I'm gonna put it like this, yeah? Then you see a chip here in front here a little black chip you see this black chip i'm gonna bring it even closer so you can see it. this black chip here and here you can see the capacitor very clear it's uh, the one in front of the square black chip and uh, take a good look at it because we're gonna remove it and in front of the chip you will see a little capacitor that capacitor you got to remove it Remove it with a screwdriver, flat screwdriver, just put it under it and, you know, flip it or flip it out or solder it loose. By removing the capacitor, that's how it's called. And the capacitor is, is right here in front. You cannot, in fact, see it because I just lift it up with my screwdriver and I removed it. You see? And then I scratched a little bit the points here so they got kind of clean. You see that? The two connection points are not in some way connected with any capacitor. So, in fact, the thing was so small, I did not use a soldering iron. I just, you know, I just flipped it out. Okay, so let's see if the phone now works. Let's see. Let's see if it works now. Um, here is the bottom. Well, probably I'm not pressing the power too good. In fact, I should close it again. Eh? But this should also show if it's gonna work. And there you go. We fixed it. And uh, this tip uh, was uh, thanks to uh, another friend of mine and also thanks to Tudor for finding uh, the, the, the solution. So this morning when I stood up, I was like, uh, before I'm going to throw the phone away, just kidding. We can always use it for parts. We're going to just simply um, remove the little uh, capacitor. And it's really small and you can just lift it off with a little screwdriver and then it will be off and you will having a fantastic phone. Of course, this phone is locked. I cannot get in. I don't know what the guy all said did. So I will have to, you know, um, restore the phone. So what we're going to do is going to insert uh, everything again and then fix the phone. Alrighty, we fixed the phone. 
we go into uh, a download mode and we will restore the phone back with Arden and with uh, the original firmware available uh, because there is a kind of pass lock on the phone uh, you will not be able to go into recovery mode and you know do crazy things up there so you will first have to restore it back uh, with Arden and then you know you can root it and do all sorts of crazy things with the phone again so that's what I'm gonna do um, I hope that this video kind of helped out uh, of course I'm not responsible for anything that you're breaking or killing out there this was a fix that worked for me and for many others as well uh, we found uh, this information uh, kind of useful so we found it also uh, um, nice to make a video about it so you can also learn something from this so what are the downsides of removing the capacitor well um, you won't uh, be able to use the OTG options anymore and OTG is uh, connecting the little micro USB and connect the mouse and and keyboard to the S2 you know the S2 can also be like a little PC these things will not function anymore but it will work fine as a phone if this video helped out of course uh, leave it your like even though the likes are disabled and subscribe to my channel for even more videos of all sorts thank you for watching and see you in my next video again